Hi friends, welcome to the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast, episode 114. My name is Lori. I live in the Chicago suburbs with my husband Ryan and our cat Daisy and I love to crochet and I love to knit. Basically I love yarn which happy I love yarn day today although you're not seeing this till the day after. <laughs> anyway how are you gonna celebrate today or do we really need a day we just celebrate all the time. So yeah, so I have on my yarny earrings, I have on a crocheted shawl, I have hand knit socks on today. Um, my shirt says yarnologist. Yeah. So, you can find all my yarny goodness in my social media links down below in the description box. Um, it has my Instagram, my Ravelry, and my email. <clears throat> Also, any yarns that I talk about, any patterns that I talk about, well, I'm going to be talking about yarns and patterns. They will all be linked down below as well. So, how is everything going? <laughs> I, it's a rainy, cold, like the cold has hit Chicago. <laughs> and I don't like it. But anyway. It has to come, right? It has to come. So, I've definitely been wearing hand knit socks. I've been wearing shawls and um, cowls and stuff. I'm pointing over here because I just washed a bunch and they're laying out on the bed drying. <laughs> the socks are hanging up on the closet door. Yeah. Just trying to stay warm this week. Um... So work has really slowed down now, which I'm thankful for. It's just, I get bored at work now, so anyway, but I'm very thankful <laughs> that things have slowed down at church. Things are, October has been a bit pretty busy um, with, we had membership Sunday. Um, so we had that all catered and all that fun stuff. And then, um, we have stuff going on here at the house tomorrow night. Um, we have our trunk retreat that we have to get ready for. All that. Well, it's not at the church. Our church is participating in one. So we have to get everything ready for the van to be all that. All decked out. Anyway. Speaking of vehicles, so Ryan and I have paid off both of our vehicles. We are excited about that and not to have car payments. So what do we do? We start go <laughs> looking at the new vehicle. Like, why? And I totally, I understand why he wants, his vehicle has had some issues and totally understand. I'm not. But part of me is like, I don't want another car payment for a while. I mean, we had like five years where we didn't have one. And then within two years, we had two. It's like, and we've been working on that since 2018, getting that, and that was paid off. So, <sighs> anyway. So that's what we did this, this afternoon, right after lunch. We went and bought azaleas from the church um, landscaping. In the yeah, so we're out in the rain, and then we went and got lunch. And then Ryan's like, you know, the Honda place is just down. Okay, so it's the second Saturday in a row we test drove vehicles. <laughs> He's really looking at the HRV, which is really nice. 
I just like my CRV. It's my favorite. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, what else? This morning was running around trying to finish cleaning up. So, one of the things that I've noticed, like with my mental health and like things that drag me down, is if I have a lot to clean, I get really f frustrated and I get upset with myself and I'm really down on myself for not cleaning my house. And so I've tried to do a schedule like, okay, on Monday I clean this, on Tuesday I clean this. Have I stuck to that schedule? No, I have not. And then I get really down on myself again because I'm not sticking to the schedule. And then, um, and so then it's like, well, I don't want to clean because I have a lot to clean and that's just going to take forever and I just can't do it. I just don't have the energy to do it. And then that puts me down as well. So I have made myself a schedule and I have room in it for if I say on Wednesday, I don't dust, there's room for me to pick it up later. Do I make myself do every, like, on Thursdays is vacuum and mopping. Do I do all the floors? No, I just hit the high traffic areas. If there are times when I need to get more of it, then I can do more of it. Friday night is the night I clean the bathroom. And people, <laughs> I'm always like, why did I pick Friday night to clean the bathroom? There's a method to my madness. That's because... After I clean the bathroom, then I can paint my nails. So if I'm doing a podcast on a Saturday, my nails are nice. So that's <laughs> that's why I picked Friday for the bathrooms, which sounds weird, but that's 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 what I do. That was my thinking behind it. Anyway, and speaking of my nails, um, yes, they are two different colors. You can tell on this gloomy day. <laughs> um, I saw a TikTok a couple months ago where a girl was like, who says you have to have your nails, your hand, the, your nails the same color? And she's like, get one color, one hand of each. And so like she had a peachy color and then a pinky color. It wasn't that big of a difference. And then a couple weeks ago, that video came up again, but it was her stitching with it. So the first part you see is the old video. And then she comes on and she's like, yeah, I've kind of made this my whole personality. And she goes like this and she has a blue and a green, like totally different. I was like, hmm. And since I love to play with color, I mean, I don't really change my hair color too much. I like to play with yarn with all different kinds of colors, putting different colors together, all that stuff. My nails are just another expression of playing with color. So I thought, you know what, I'll do that for a while. Have one hand be one color and the other hand be another. So I'll just try it, see how it goes. But anyway, talking about color and yarn, shall we get on with the yarn again this? Finished objects, I have one. Well, a pair, I should say. I haven't even, like, shown this as a make in progress. Like, it went that fast to get these done. Um, I am talking about the mittens that my mom asked me to make. So, here's the pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it is CJ's Simple Mitts. It is by Char Jess, that's her name. Excuse me. Um, it was a real simple pattern. Um, it, she says that she made them two at a time, knitting the round on circular needles. I was like, oh, no problem. But in the, in the instructions, there was nothing about like how to do this two at a time. So I was like, oh, well, let me see. So I found a couple YouTube tutorials 
Um, the first one I found was like how to cast on um, cuffs two at a time. And then um, then I found one that was two at a time mitts, mittens. I linked that one down below um, because it goes through the whole process, like cuff to, you know, to the end of your mittens and then also the, how to do the thumbs as well. So thoroughly enjoyed it. Got it done so quick. It took me five days. Actually, it probably wouldn't have taken me five days if I had just sat down and worked on them. But you know me. Gotta work on things, different days, all that. So it was, they were living for a brief moment in time in my, uh, Excuse me. They were living in my Frida Kahlo bag, which is by Allegheny um, Fiber Studio. <clears throat> Has a nice little uh, zipper pouch pocket on the back. Uh, my button says lost in fiber space. And the yarn that I use. Oh. <clears throat> Tag is in the pocket back here. So here's the Allegheny Fiber Arts. The yarn was Indigo Guinea Fibers. We'll focus on that. There we go. Indigo Guinea Fibers on her Ren Worsted. Wait, it's 100% Superwash Merino. And the color is Jello cookies. So blue, green, yellow, orange, purple. Lovely colors. It actually kind of goes pretty nice back here. <laughs> um, I actually only use my circular needles. I grab double pointed needles like for the thumb and actually the tutorial showed me how to do two at a time on my thumbs. But that's pretty ama amazing. So, here are the mitts. Oh my gosh. I am like floored that these are done. I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, when you increase for the thumb, you definitely get some color pooling around there. Um, so... My hands look a lot like my mom's, but her fingers are a lot longer than mine. I definitely inherited Grandma Jones's <laughs> stubby fingers, although mine are a little bit longer than hers were. Anyway, <clears throat> so I had to make sure I could, there was plenty of room for my mom and on the thumb as well. So like I had finished the thumb, I was so excited. I tried it on and it was too short for me. It's like, that's not gonna work. So then I had to rip it out and reattach the yarn. And that was fun trying to figure that out. But, oh my gosh. I love, I love these. These are amazing. So I have not woven in any of the ends, as you can see. <clears throat> on either one I just want to make sure that these are going to be the right size for her so actually next weekend I'm going up to see her my aunt is going to be there as well and we're going to go from my parents house to Frankenmuth, Michigan which is where Bronner's Christmas store is like I'm so excited. I wish my cousin could be there too. Like that would just make it cherry on top if Tiffany could be there as well. Um, but anyway, so I will be taking these with me next weekend to make sure they fit her. And she might just give them, get Christmas present early because you know, winter is almost here. <laughs> uh, and she will need them. So that is one 
October goal done. So excited. <laughs> the other ones, um, I have five total, so I have one done. So the the next four, two of them are pretty close to being done. It's pretty much all I've worked on this week were those two. Um, and then the other two, not much, but it's, we're halfway through October. I'm good. I'm good. We'll make it through. So I have two crochet and two knitting projects to show you. Um, the first crochet one, making progress. It's one of my designs. It is called the Petite Curie Shawl. That's what it's supposed to look like. Um, named after one of my favorite women in history, Marie Curie. Um, this is supposed to take two skeins of fingering weight yarn, um, and you just crochet until you're done, honestly. <laughs> so the first, let me find my ball bands here. So the first color that I used, Essence of Autumn on her prairie sock which is 80% superwash merino 20% nylon and the colorway is on there yeah the colorway is hibiscus tea like you could see that <laughs> and um this is all i have left <laughs> like i probably won't make it through another round of it or a row which let me show you the right side here don't want to see all my ends so yeah it's where we were here's where we were so yeah so I've added this much added the second color already which is this one here this is Emma's yarn on her beautifully basic base which is 100% super wash merino and the colorway is it's your birthday so yes so I still have quite a bit to go on this one which is okay but so yeah so I was here I've done all this added the second one so this has a just a different bit of texture to it because you work in the back loops. Get it just a bit of different texture than the other color. So, and I stopped in the middle of a row, which that's odd that I did that. <laughs> but, oh well. It's there. I'm very excited about this. Um, this is one where you can just it's a potato chip one where you just keep going and do another row. Oh, I'll do another row. Oh, I'll do another row. <laughs> Real easy. Don't have to really pay much attention. Although now that you're, now that I'm in this part, you kind of do a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so that is that one. Crochet project number one. Crochet project number two you haven't seen yet. It is the Friendly Unicorn by um, the Friendly Red Fox. I have made, I don't know how many of these I've made. <laughs> um, it's fun pattern to do though. It is living in oh, see if I can, this big old bag. <laughs> big old llama bag. Um, and Unlike the ladies, where I feel like if I show them half done, I feel like it's disrespecting them. This I have no qualms about showing you. Um, I have a head. <laughs> I have a head. That's all I have so far. So, we have the eyes. We have the eyelashes. And that's it. <laughs> Um, so a gentleman at church, he asked for 
unicorn for his wife. And when I saw him last Sunday, he was like, her birthday's not until November 25th, so there's time. And I was like, okay, but I still want to get it done. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, he said her favorite color was purple. I said, ooh, I like her. I need to get to know her better. <laughs> Um, so, I think what I, I have a light purple as well, and white, I think, and then I have a gray, so I'm going to do the gray horn. The horn will be gray, and I do have some silver, like, like lace weight yarn, I may intermingle so it'll have some sparkle. And then I think the main I'm going to do white. So to match the white lashes. And then the hooves, I'm going to do in the light purple. And then, I'm not quite, quite sure what color flowers I'm going to do yet. But, it's off to a start. Some kind of start. <laughs> and then my two knitting projects. One that I've just kind of really gone to town on are my socks. Um, so, these are my Strictly socks. Um, yeah, so I have the Strictly Sock Along badges, official ones from Allie. And then I also have her little drops of wonderful pin. This bag I won. Partici from participating in the Strictly Sock Along two years ago. And the yarn that I'm using is also my prize from the Strictly Sock Along. So, um, where are my bobbins? There we are. Okay, so for heels, toes, and cuffs, I'm using this bright green. This is Valley Yarns Huntington. Which is 7525 yeah, uh, Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. And the colorway is Spring Green. And then my main yarn is Burke and Berg, which is Denmark. Yeah, they are, this yarn is from Denmark, made in Denmark. It is 100% Superwash merino so it's not really sock yarn but if it's your break i could fix it it's not a big deal um but there's the label it's a merino single ply it's not even super oh it is super wash treated never mind the colorway is called party all the time and so it's a cream with green and yellow and pink speckles. There's even little pops of blue in there. I'm loving this yarn so much. The pattern that I'm doing, I'm kind of going off. So I have my basic vanilla sock pattern that I do every time. It is, it'll be linked down below. It's the basic toe up pattern by Wendy Pronger Geckner. And then I always do the shadow wrap heel, which is also linked down below. Um, but then I decided to add a little bit of pattern to my socks. Um, so I did, this is a free pattern by um, Emma Potter. <clears throat> it is the Love Island socks. And I think because it's like pretty much the same colors as what I'm doing, that's why I picked that one. I don't know. Um, but, so I'm going to show you the back first. So I kind of wish I had just done a vanilla sock because look at how the material that it creates. Like, I love how that looks. Just plain, stockinette, nothing much else. <laughs> I just think that is so pretty, like, especially with this green, like, it just, just goes. But then with the pattern, this is what it looks like, which I'm not mad at. I, it's not like that. I hate this. I just like this a little bit more. But anyway, it'll be fine. 
it'll be fine. <laughs> so, because it's the Strictly Sock Along, which is Strictly Come Dancing is the British version of our Dancing with the Stars, which Allie is British, that's what she watches. I had to use the British flag here. <laughs> I don't have one of their um, glitter disco ball stitch markers yet. <laughs> Not that I have plans to buy one, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I was here last time. I have gone this far. <sighs> yeah, they are cute socks. I really like them. Um, the pattern, though, calls for, like their shorty socks. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do shorty socks. One, because they'll be done faster. And two, I kind of just like the idea of having, I don't know, this, this color just makes me think of shorty socks. I don't know why. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I have been watching Strictly on YouTube. It's really just the dances. I don't see any of the judging or comments after the dance. I don't even really get to see the training videos really either, which is fine. Like just the dances, it's good. Um, but my cheats, my cheats this week, and I'll probably continue to do. Um, so in Dancing with the Stars, which is the American version, there have been several stars who are Hallmark Channel stars as well. So Technically, if I watch their Hallmark videos, I'm still supporting dancing, right? According to the uh, chatter thread on Ravelry, that's a good cheat. They liked it. So, I've really been watching um, Hallmark Mystery Murder She Baked, which has Allison Sweeney and Cameron Matheson, who competed on Dancing with the Stars a long time ago. So... That's been, that's been fun. What hasn't been fun is my next project. And like, sorry, wool fluff is just making me itch. I have not, I, this is the third udon beanie I'm making. Why is this one giving me so many problems? I don't know. So, for those of you who are new who haven't seen, this is the Udon Beanie. It is by Fiber Noodles. It's a paid-for pattern. She has tutorials on YouTube, but you can only get to them through the pattern. First of all, let me just show you the cute bag that's in. It's in my Chicago Yarn Crawl bag. I love it. It's so cute. And I love like how sturdy it is. The yarn that I'm using is um oh, I have it. I do have the ball band. <clears throat> yeah. This is even the right color one. <laughs> so it is King Cole Big Value Poplar Chunky in the colorway Silver Lake. Now I've like I said, I have done this pattern twice before. First one I did, I had to start three times. Second one I did was a breeze. So I thought this one's gonna be a breeze as well. And you've seen, like I had like a good chunk done. And I was, took it with me to Love Nuts and I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. And I had a mistake. And with the, you know, cause you have left leaning twists and right leaning twists because of that like I don't really know how to fix those so like I can't just go back and then fix it so I was like you know what I'm just gonna start over because if it was if this hat was gonna be for me I would have let it go it would have been fine not a problem but this is a gift for my coworker, and so I was like it has to be perfect not perfect but it has to be good so I took it all out started over was getting to the point where I was at. Like last time you saw I had like this much done. I was getting to that area. I was like, whew, okay. Another mistake. Again, like I was doing a like 
right leaning twist in the left leaning twist area. So it was like, no, and it was like five row sack. So I took it out. I cast back on. Did one row. So this is the cast on and one row. And then it's been in timeout since then. So, my thing is, if I get the socks done, maybe later this week, before I go to Michigan, I'll work on these. So, next couple weeks, I'm just going to be working on these four projects to get them done, to meet my October goals. Maybe I'll just take... See, that's the problem. If I take the udon beanie with me to Michigan, then I'm going to be talking, not paying attention. Do I, do I take that risk? I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll work on this afternoon. I'll, get, yeah, I'll work on that this afternoon and get it going. So anyway, with that, I will see you in a couple weeks. Talk to you later. God bless.